The Winter Olympics just days away in uh, Russia. Concerns about safety are growing. Investigators say that terrorism threats there are real, so athletes, fans, and journalists must weigh their warnings and what they think of them. Now, a member of the Newsline 9 team is about to begin a new chapter in his career. It is a journey which begins in Sochi. Newsline 9's David de Guzman has accepted a job with NBC Olympics. He leaves for Sochi, Russia this weekend and already proudly wears his Team NBC jacket. I'll be working in the what we call the sports desk department. It's kind of like a mini newsroom. Uh, it's full of NBC news producers and NBC sports talent. And basically we're just covering news and producing a whole bunch of, you know, stories. This week, security reports say a suicide bomber known as the Black Widow may already be in Sochi. And there's evidence of terror planning. The fact that she's there is a major concern because it shows that a small group of determined individuals can infiltrate the, the Russian security. De Guzman says he is aware of those warnings, but is excited to be part of a world event. I like to think that I'm no more or less scared than anyone else that's going. He says NBC has its own security plan. They have their own security forces there to you know, make sure that we're safe. They've worked with U.S. security and Russian security. So I think NBC is as prepared as they ever could be. This isn't their first Olympics. It's not de Guzman's either. In 2012, he interned with NBC during the summer games in London and dealt with tight security. No, I mean, it's, I don't think it's going to really stop me from going. I think that's just kind of giving in to what the, what the terrorists want, you know. So I'm just going to be going in and I'll have the trust in, you know, all the security forces that are there. So now the stage has been set. As he leaves, he looks back fondly on the 15 months he spent in central Wisconsin. I have been so grateful for every athlete, coach, parent, Packers fan that I have encountered, and they've all welcomed me with open arms, and uh, I'll miss them, and I'll miss central Wisconsin a lot. And David will be in Russia throughout the Olympics. After that, he's not sure where his professional journey will take him. Whatever it is, we do wish him well. Absolutely.